and it's Leiden House grinding it out now. Has gone away from Tallium up. Sadler Storm Uncle Junior with 12 7 is running on over the final flight, and it's Leiden House. They're coming at him now. Sadler Storm, Tallium up, and Uncle Junior on the near side. 100 yards ahead of them. Leiden House with Uncle Junior on the near side, cutting him back. And Uncle Junior, a star performance under 12 7 has just nabbed Leiden House. Coming down the dash now, it's Jack and Dan from sighting John Curly Gray on the inside. They're racing now towards the dash. And what a finish it is! Jack and Dan sighting John on the near side is getting to him. This is unbelievable! Sighting John and Jack and Dan! Sighting John! Hurricane George is lunging on the near side. Don't cheat the from Georgie Dalkita just on the inside of Hurricane and Georgie well cleared of Darren's hope and then that's life boy Clonmore they just been for Shane Shortle they race spread across the track it's wrong turn on the near side of Fox Rock who's battling back with Vince Canvas and the job is right but it's wrong turn as they run up towards the finish wrong turn is going to win the petty par for John Preston as they go towards the finish it is living next door Living next door, in fact, is the one living next door of uh, John Breslin's and Dennis O'Regan getting up to be... Only Sky's poised on the outside over the second last degree from Only Sky. Binks is keeping at it and staying on in the center. Waiting as Mrs. Paisley's the head for the final flight. And it's a grain from Only Sky. Binks is trying to pick up on the outside and at the last, it's a grain over from Only Sky. On the outside is Binks. They're inside the final 150 yards. It's a grain trying out for the line here. Only Sky's lunging in the center. Binks the near side. Three way in the center. From you ain't seen nothing yet and best behavior at the final fence at Star Max from you ain't seen nothing yet as they race up inside the final 200 yards Star Max from you ain't seen nothing yet they are got less than 150 yards to go Star Max from you ain't seen nothing yet and finishing best of all underneath the stands rail is best behavior best behavior on the near side with the wettest of saves for Barry Brown and Oliver McKiernan who are again the toast of high ahead of La Prima Donna and Glon is trying to join them on the inside Esky Lane coming down to the final flight and it's higher from in the center is Glon Jesse Evans on the inside tax for Max La Prima Donna and they're followed by he's a hardy bloke away from the final flight in the Rivo handicap and it's Glon on the inside of high and La Prima Donna and he's a hardy bloke it's Glon and Mark Woods winning the Rivo from La Prima Donna and higher close for the second and third Plan of attack from Chef de Zobo, Fitz Henry, and then comes Winter Escape. Robin de Furry is next, racing into the closing stages. Plan of attack with Fitz Henry coming on the near side, and it's last year's third. Is he going to get his big break in the penny par? Here it's Roaring Ball! Roaring Ball has got up in the penny par! Roaring Ball! has clenched it from Fitz Henry, plan of attack, and then poke up the road to respect. And coming there in between horses is Kemboy, then Delta Work, Bells Hill presenting Percy and Annabelle Fly to the final fence in the Savage Chase, Monelli, Kemboy, Road to Respect, Jet is next with presenting Percy, Delta Work is finishing best of all on the outside, Monelli is on the spot, Here's the man of the moment, Jack Kennedy, and Delta Work in the white cap. And it's Delta Work on the near side of Monterey. Road to respect Kemboy and presenting Percy in an edge of Seder Savage. Victor Beginner's chase, Grand Paradis on the outside, comes to headboat Fleur and Egality Mon who's switching course on the run of the final fence, it's Fleur and Grand Paradis, the stable companions being followed by Egality Mon who's found precious little, the final fence, Fleur made a mistake jumped in like a bag of hammers, on the outside is Grand Paradis, running on on the inside is Frontless Salt, but it's Fleur, quickly corrected by Jordan Gainford, will hold on from Frontless Salt who flashed home on the far side of Grand Paradis. Leader, from Tornado Flair, easy game, battle over Doyen has dropped back, then Castleborn West it's Faheen, an easy game, a faller was battle over Doyen they're inside the final 200 yards it's the stable companions from rail to rail, Faheen on the far side of easy game they're running up towards the finish Faheen, an easy game Faheen on the far side of easy game Faheen on the far side of easy game 
Little assault screaming colours. Then early doors, Max Lemingo, they're coming to the final fence in the 150th Irish Grand National. It's Lord Danny at the leader over the last from frontal assault. Almost lost screaming colours. It's Lord Danny and out in front from Danny O'Hanlon. It's local trainer Derek McLaughlin again, the Irish National. Lord Danny and wins it from frontal assault. They are the screaming colours. Follow Kilpegan on Instagram, Handicap Chase, and the leader is this one's for Ollie and Davy Russell over the last. Couple of lengths in front of She's Flat to the Mat, and then Maureen Star like a demon and Kill Derry Prince racing up towards the finish. It is this one's for Ollie coming fast as Maureen Star. Oh, sugar it! And Maureen Star has collared this one's for Ollie who looked home and dry. Casey Hogan Memorial Cross Country at the last together, the stable companion, Shady Operator, and Midnight Maestro settling down now to tussle it out and it's Midnight Maestro and Mark Walsh getting to Shady Operator and Derek O'Connor on the inside they're racing to the last 50 yards and it's Midnight Maestro by half a leg to Shady Operator they're well clear of 2A per me and then Vital Line and Blast of 2 fantastic finish